My name is Andre and I have a small company called Sustainable Meals Oregon in the Portland area in Oregon. I work closely with local farms and what happens every year is that they have way too much of one thing or another. What most people don't know is that a lot of this stuff goes to waste. If the farmer cannot sell it, they can't really store it. It's gonna go bad, so it just goes back into the farm through compost, which is not necessarily the end of the world, but a lot of the energy that was put into that could be used for other things. So I just go to the farm and whatever it is that they have a lot of, I get it and then I turn it into a fermentation. And so one of the things that I love doing is carrots and some type of hot pepper a little bit of shallot, a little bit of garlic, and then you just let that ferment. I like to do a 2.5% salt to liquid and to whatever content it is, in this case, the carrots and the garlic and the hot pepper. And I let it ferment for about four weeks, sometimes up to six weeks, and I grind it up and I have these beautiful sauces that now I can use for all kinds of stuff. I can marinate in it, I can use it as a base for other sauces. And this works great for just about any vegetable. Sometimes I get turnips, sometimes I get parsnips, cabbage, hot peppers, carrots, beets, celery, celery act. I mean, just about anything you can turn into one of these ferments that then you can turn into a lot of really incredible creative sauces. Another really cool thing about this is that you can use it throughout the year and make it so you're not wasting anything. That's really huge for both you know, the financial side of cooking and also for the environmental side. And a huge bonus of all this is that you get to create relationships with the farmers in your area and you actually become really good friends with them. And then this means a lot to them because that means that all the energy and all the money and all that that they put into that, it's not going to waste. And it means something to you because now you get to keep your money and your community. So at the end of the day, it's really all about being creative. I think that's why chefs became chefs because we don't like the same thing every day. So we want to be super creative and there's no better way than just to have new things and to play around and just mastering those basic techniques of fermentation. You can take it super far and have a lot of fun while cooking.